Welcome, this is Mr. Villa and this is the tutorial for Lesson 2, Swimming Fish with the Sprite Lab. Begin by clicking on number 1. Number 1 is an introduction video to the Sprite Lab, but since you are watching this video, you may skip this video if you would like to. If you want to watch it, that's okay as well. Just click on the triangle and watch the video. When you are ready, click the orange button at the bottom of the page and this will take you to the next puzzle. This is a multiple choice puzzle asking you to make a prediction. The directions say look closely at the code below this code. What will happen after you click run? So I see a reddish brick with a picture of a tumbleweed uh, and some coordinates. I see a blue brick that says Sprite begins, another picture of a tumbleweed and a green block that has the words tumbling. Which of these things do you think will happen if we click run? Your choices are A, nothing will happen. B, the tumbleweed will float to the top of the screen. C, the tumbleweed will begin tumbling. And D, the tumbleweed will blink on and off. I'm just going to choose D, but I don't think that that is the correct answer. Your choices are going to be A, B, or C. I'm choosing one that is wrong because this says that it will blink on and off. When you are ready, click it, and as soon as you make a choice, this button will turn orange. Click it, the program will run, and you can see that I definitely chose wrong. When you are ready, click finish, and the program will take you to the next puzzle. Come on, computer. All right, here we go. Now, there's a message here that points to this symbol, and it says this icon means that this level is part of a larger project. Changes will be saved across these levels. What that means for you is that if you, whatever you do for this puzzle, will carry over for puzzle number four, and whatever you do for puzzle number four will carry over to puzzle number five. Um, conversely, it also means that if you make a mistake on this puzzle, that mistake will follow you to puzzle number four. And if you don't fix it, it'll follow you to puzzle number five, etc. So please take extra care that you are doing this correctly. The instructions here say, let's make a fish tank. Change the tumbleweeds sprite into any kind of fish by clicking on this picture. So you're supposed to come down to this picture, click it, and change it into a fish. Notice that there's a picture of a crab, and you're more than welcome to click on it to see what it looks like, but the, the puzzle will not turn green if you don't do what the puzzle asks you. And in, in this case, it says to change it into a fish. So pick one of the fish. You notice it changed. The rest of the instructions here say, be sure to also update this sprite's costume in Sprite Begins, which is down here. And what they mean is this image right here should match the one at the top. Now run your program. All right, on to puzzle number four. It says the fish is getting dizzy because if you remember correctly, he's just spinning. That would be kind of dizzying, right? It does say change the fish's behavior so that it swims left and right. So what they want you to do is they want you to take this block that says spinning right, throw it away, and replace it with the one that says swimming left and right. And supposedly this will make it so that the fish does not get dizzy anymore. Here's what it looks like. Continue. It says, our fish tank needs some water. Use the set background color block to make the background any color. We recommend blue. So they're talking about this block. Notice how this one looks like that one right there. And you are welcome to put it anywhere in the program. You can put it at the beginning, in between, at the bottom. And as soon as you add it, the, the background behind the fish will change to the color that's indicated here. And you can change that to any color you want. any color you want, including as if it was nighttime, and then run your program. Ta -ta -da! 
you click continue and this will be the next puzzle i'm sorry the next um, um item here which is a video and the title of the video is how to make a sprite i'm not going to play the video but please make sure that you watch it when you have a chance and then click continue at the bottom of the page for puzzle number seven which is the first one there are only three three of them that you will have to perform here notice it is really important that puzzle number five looks the way that it did because whatever i did for number five is now here in puzzle number seven i chose a gold fish and make sure that that color is in both spots so if you chose the green one please make sure that it's green in both of them etc and whatever color of water you chose is going to be over here so for this puzzle um, the program is the same as before and the directions here say the fish is adventurous and wants to meet new creatures in the sea add another sprite to the fish tank this sprite can be any costume other than the one that you're using for your fish so since i already have a gold fish we're going to add another sprite it has to be a fish actually no it just says add another sprite um but and it cannot be the same color as the one that i have so in order to add a new sprite we're going to look for the block that looks exactly like this it has the words make new sprite at and where do we find this? We're gonna go over here and click on sprites, and there it is. So here's the block that will add a new sprite to our program. And I'm going to choose, you know what? I'm gonna choose the crab just for the sake of fun, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it here, and as soon as it, it adds, the crab should appear in my aquarium. And there it is. Now the reason it showed up in this corner is because of these numbers here, and that's gonna be important later on you'll notice that the numbers for the goldfish are different than the numbers for the crab go ahead and run the program just let it run its course all they wanted us to do was to add one and then click continue to move on to the next puzzle i am anticipating that now they'll want us to make the crab do something the directions here say what do you want your fish's new friend to do add a behavior and watch them go well we did the correct thing by adding a sprite. Now they want us to add a behavior. The behavior is this blue block and this um, red block and this green block. All three of these blocks together are the ones that determine what the fish does. Now we're going to add those same exact blocks to make the crab do something. So let's look for the blue uh, block first, and that will be in behaviors. Click behaviors, and there it is. And notice that right now inside there is a silver fish. I'm gonna change it so that it matches the sprite that we added. So click on that and change it to a crab. Now the only thing missing is the green block. So go back to behaviors and look, we have a spinning right or we have a swimming left and right. Let's do the spinning right. Now when I click run, the fish will, will start swimming back and forth the way that he was earlier. The crab should stay where he is, but he should spin. Look at that. Just let the program run its course and then click continue when you are ready. And this will be puzzle nine, the last one for this unit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make this a little bit bigger. Come on. And the directions here say we've added a lot of new blocks to the toolbox. Play with them and make your fish tank special. So this is what is considered an, an open uh, task, which means you can change one thing or you can change 10 or 15 or 20 things. It'll be completely up to you. They have added quite a few new things. For example, if you click world, you can change the color of the, of the water. You already know that, but you can also change the background so that it's a picture instead of just a color. For example, let's try a uh, city. And when we add this, the background change to that picture. So you can just you can choose to leave it as the color of, of, of an aquarium, or you can actually choose a different picture for the background, change it to something else, whatever you whatever seems more appropriate to you. You don't have to do this, it is just one option. In sprites, you can actually change uh, one your character from something to the other. In actions, you can change the size of your characters, for example, if I did this, nothing happens because so far the picture in here is that of a silver fish. But if I change that to the gold fish and then change this number to something ridiculously large, 
like 500, then you can see that automatically the fish in my program changed size. Conversely, you can choose a really, really small number and the fish changed accordingly, according to that uh, number. So these are just a couple of the things that you can change. Um, let me, make, let me uh, make it like, what, 200? Did it not? There we go. And just make it bigger like that. And then whenever you're done, if you can change, you just change one thing if you'd like, or change a few things, and then click run. Just let it run its course, um, and then you'll be done with the unit. Make sure that you do click continue at the end. You can also just click finish here. Click continue. And then that takes you to the page with the certificate. And of course, that does mean that you are done. There's nothing that you have to do here. Nicely done. Good work. I hope you had some fun and I will see you next time.